In this module, you will see how to create a data entry screen and add fields to it. To do that, go to Tasks, choose Screen Design Home, and then New Design. Make the data entry screen as big or as small as you need it to be. And there are a couple of things that I like to do before I start adding fields to the screen. Under Properties on the right, I like to change the background color. Something a little more mellow than white. Maybe a color from your company's logo. And I also like to change the font. That way all of the fields that I put onto the design will already be configured with this font. I need to apply the badge logic that we created in a different module. I need to apply that to the screen design. And save it. Give it a name. And now we can start adding fields. Go to your data tab on the left. All of these fields are available to you from the database click on a field like first name. Put that on there as a text box because we will manually enter the name. Last name. Maybe employee ID. And we'll enter that manually as well too. Drop down boxes for badge type is put on there as a combo box. This window is confirming the table and field that it, that drop-down box will draw from. I'd like to put the department name on there. Select that, another combo box for a drop-down box. Check boxes. I have a couple of those to put on there for first aid. Choose check box. Terminated, another check box. I'd also like to put on there the photo date. That will be put on there as a date time field so that when you hit the drop down box on your screen, you will get a calendar. Save it. Now from here, you can arrange the fields on your screen as you would like them to appear when you enter your data. Just drag them into place. With photo and date, the words on top of each other, you can change that by going to properties, putting a space between them where you see text. You can stretch that out so you can see the entire word. Terminate, where it says cardholders ext dot terminated, or you can change that under properties at text and just remove everything before terminated so that we just have the terminated label left. I'll do the same for first aid under properties and text. I'll remove everything before first aid. Now that I have those labels, I don't need the labels that came along with it, so I can right click and choose cut. I'll just drag the rest of these into place. Notice that when they line up with something, they like to lock into place. Anything that you do on your screen design is for the order for which you want to see them and put the information in. Select all those and stretch them out. I'll do the same with the drop down boxes. Now I can drag the labels into place. I can change the way the text looks just like I did with first aid and terminated by going to properties under text. And I like this to say department. So I'll just change that. I'll put a space between badge and type. Stretch out employee ID so that I can see that it says employee ID. Notice that I'm not too concerned with the words lining up right now. You see that vertical line on the right? 
that tells me that the label controls are all lined up together. And once they're all configured, I can grab all of them and then back to properties. See how they're all lined up there. Back to properties. I can go down to the bottom of the list where it says text line. Click on this drop down box and I have a choice of nine buttons here. And I can choose the button that's for middle right and move them all over so that they're all aligned to the right.